Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the DeWalt Power Detect Brushless Hammer Drill that just came out versus the Milwaukee Fuel Brushless Hammer Drill. And both of these are going to use 8 amp hour batteries. We're going to use the 8 amp hour uh, high output with the Milwaukee. And we're going to use the 8 amp hour uh, 21700 cell uh, battery that just came out with the Power Detect. So, but this is the best Milwaukee could offer and this is the best DeWalt can offer. So we're gonna go to head to head on this to see which one could win. And uh, we're only gonna do hardcore tests and concrete. So let's look at the specs really quick and go to it. All right, let's go for the DeWalt first. This is model number DCD998. A half inch metal chuck, LED light on the bottom that lasts for more than 20, that can last up to 20 minutes on this uh, setting. It is a very bright light. It's awesome, I love that light. I'm only gonna go to the highest RPMs. So on drill mode, this goes to up to two, uh, 2,000 RPMs. On hammer drill mode, this goes to 2,250 RPMs. And the, the beats per minute is uh, 38,250. It's uh, 11 point clutch plus two. So that is the, oh, sorry. Yeah, three speed settings, my bad. All right, so the Milwaukee, this is model number D804-20, uh, 32,000 uh, beats per minute and uh, up to 2,000 RPMs. So that's it, two speed settings. This is a 14 point clutch plus two for its own separate for hammer and drill Then anything else beyond that's just a uh, screw. Half inch metal truck, battery is full on the Milwaukee and battery is full on the DeWalt. Just let you guys know if you guys are interested on seeing the DeWalt versus Hilti hammer drill, uh, click on this link, uh, click on this right here. And so yeah, it's a good one. All right, so remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. Only thing we're gonna do with the four x four is do some three quarter inch holes. Oh, that's a hammer, make that a drill, speed two. Battery is full, eight amp hour high output battery. We're gonna do, uh, once the truck hits the board, that's when the timer stops, we're gonna do two holes. We're gonna uh, time them separately. Then we're gonna just add the time together. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Put that on drill as well. All right, it's on speed three. Battery is full. And we're good to go. All right, so ready, go. Time. We're gonna do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Both of these are beasts. All right, but that's it, that's it for the four x four. All right, handles go on. There we go. There we go, yeah, Milwaukee's handles. I love, I love Milwaukee and Hilti's handle. They have the best handles on the market. All right, so we're gonna do Milwaukee first. Speed two, battery is full, ready, go. Time. Let's take it out on speed one. All right, it is DeWalt's turn. Speed three, because I know it's capable of doing it. Battery is full. Right there should be good, clear everything. Ready, go. Time. Very good. Put it on speed one, take it out slowly. I think this is a one inch speed bore. I think, I might be wrong on that. I forgot I bought it a while ago. Go to speed two. All right, so we're good to go. Ready, go. Time. 
time. Go to speed one, take it out. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, it cut out. It actually cut out. All righty. So the DeWalt cut out on speed three, but I just want to see time, and I'm gonna put it on speed two. Let's see what it can do on speed two. I'm gonna compare it to the time that this, uh, that the Milwaukee did. All right, so ready, go. Time. Speed one, take it out. All righty, what we're, we are gonna do is we are gonna do a uh, thin hull, then we're gonna use that as a pilot hull for the bigger ones. And like I said in the previous videos, these, all of these bits are used equally. This will be the last video I use for these bits. I will get new ones. And so, yeah, we're gonna do, use these for the, time these and use these for the pilot holes, then drill through those holes with these. Using Ryobi to blow the dust away. We're gonna do Milwaukee first. And I can go see it, battery is full. Speed two, it's on drill, uh, hammer drill. Ready, go. Time for that. It is gorgeous outside, by the way. All right, we got speed three. Battery is battery is full. Not sure if you could see it, but sorry, it is full. Hammer drill feature is on. All right, so ready, go. So that time I did need to, that time I did need to take the drill out to clear out the flute. All right, Milwaukee goes first. So ready, go. needed to bust through a little tough area right there. All right, so next is the DeWalt. All right, so ready, go. So that is the test for the DeWalt Power Detect against the Milwaukee Fuel Hammer Drill. Both brushless drills, both are hammer drills. Now, just so you guys know, I am gonna redo the test in the future between the DeWalt and the Hilti. It's Hilti's fault, but what happened with this was, this actually, after watching the video over and over again at the, the concrete section, uh, this actually slipped out of hammer drill. Over the time that it was doing the concrete, it was actually just in drill mode. So it has slipped out of hammer drill, so we are gonna be redoing this one to concrete only. It lost in the wood and concrete, but we are gonna retest the concrete uh, up for these two. And like I said, this is not the end of these tests. We are gonna test these out again with harder tasks, with bigger bits, 
for wood and for concrete and metal. So endless videos coming up, you guys, endless videos. So if you can get this for a tool only right now at Home Depot for $150, I think it's $149. Uh, but this, I, you cannot get tool only yet. This is a $290 kit. Comes with an eight amp hour battery, handle, hammer drill, bag, and a charger. And so, yes, uh, so right now, like that's the difference between these two. If this was a kit, it would be about the same price as this, like three, uh, 300 bucks. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.